Hello and welcome from Uyuni. It's been a few days, I'm not entirely sure how to start because I have had the most amazing like week the past week but I've done an absolutely horrible job filming everything so I think you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me this way in the next few videos because I'm gonna attempt to like narrate everything that I did because I did take videos but I hardly explained anything that we did because we just had a great time. It all started on day one of the tour. I did a three day two night tour across the salt flats and the desert from San Pedro de Atacama to Uyuni, Bolivia. So I've made it to a new country which is very exciting. At six I was picked up from my hostel and like in a minivan and they drove us all the way to the border where we got stamped out of Chile and entered Bolivia but you have to pay I think it was 120 bolivianos uh, as an entrance fee into the national park and then we continued driving our first stop was Laguna Verde and Laguna Azul I think <laughs> absolutely gorgeous and driving through the desert is just such an unreal and crazy experience once we were done with the lagoons we continued driving to some geysers and the day before i visited el tacio geysers which you can do from san pedro however these ones were very different the landscape is very moon like it's very like rocky but very i don't know how to explain it but it was amazing and we saw bubbling of clay which is very new like we saw a lot of steam coming out of it it smelled a lot like sulfur so I think my hair like I just showered but I think my hair needed like at least two washes After the geysers we continued driving to some hot springs. The hot springs, yes they were warm, but outside was freezing cold. So instead, so while some people decided to go in, I decided to stay, take some photos. The view was amazing and we even saw some, I think they're called wanakas, but I've heard people call them differently so I'm not entirely sure, but we saw some really cool animals. After the hot springs we continued driving to a lagoon and when I tell you I have never ever ever seen that many flamingos in my entire life we were told that there were about 5,000 and it just kept going they, they didn't stop even if you looked out in the, into the distance there were still flamingos I took some really really cool photos or at least I think they're cool but there were so many and there were three different species I think the pink ones the white ones and then pink with black I'm not entirely sure what the situation there is but absolutely gorgeous <laughs>
into our hotel and along the way we saw our first llamas now the rest of the trip we saw definitely more llamas but this was our first or at least my first time seeing the llamas and i got so excited i took way too many photos but they are so so cute like i associate llamas with peru and i don't know i i guess i thought they could be there but i never really thought about them that i could see them but we did and it was so cool my roommate got very very like altitude sickness not very but like he he had a headache so he went to lay down i went for the sunset which you will see in a minute but actually i don't know i don't think i've got that mentioned when i talk at sunset but afterwards we had dinner and my roommate started feeling better but i did not i started feeling nauseous headache dizzy so we just went to bed early and yeah let's go to me at sunset. All right, so welcome to somewhere between Uyuni and San Pedro. I'm not entirely sure where, but we've made it here. We have got um, private rooms or like private-ish rooms. I'm sharing with one of the guys because the other two are two couples. I'm going uphill for the sunset, so I'm out of breath and at high altitude, but Today was gorgeous. We did a lot of things and we did like 12 hours of driving. We left at six and got here just after six. Oh my God. Just look at that. That is so gorgeous. I mean, wow. The entire drive was just great. We saw llamas. We saw llamas. That was the greatest thing ever. I'm very behind on drinking water. I mean, but this town is very much still being built think it's for the tourists but the group is nice the drive is really nice the views are very nice I could not tell you what we did yesterday or show you what we were gonna do tomorrow oh my god so out of breath I'm not out of shape well maybe a little bit but this is the altitude it was just it's been amazing I think this is gonna be one of my favorite things that I'm gonna do on this trip just look at that I think we're gonna do more tomorrow. I think it's gonna be the same like fast paced situation. So I have to do like narration again, but so it's been so amazing. The views are just out of this world. It's like genuinely it doesn't feel like it's planet Earth. I will see you tomorrow. I will say though it's quite cold today like I've been wearing my thermal leggings and my pants the entire day and although my pants are quite dusty I'm gonna do the same tomorrow because like we're gonna get dusty again anyways I don't see the point but I don't even have words for what we did today we saw so many amazing things I'm is it too windy to hear me I don't know but we, the geysers were so different from El Tachio geysers, so like definitely worth still going. The lagoons were amazing. There were so many flamingos. I've never seen that many flamingos in my entire life. It's amazing. I don't have any words for it. Like, wow. <laughs> 